Okay, the next part of speech that we are going to learn in the classification of sentences is the pronoun. And what we're going to focus on right now is we're going to focus on what's called personal pronouns. A little later on in the course you're going to learn several other different types of pronouns. But for right now we're just going to focus on personal pronouns. And I'm going to have you complete this worksheet that I gave you in class. I call it the personal pronoun matrix. Um, very often I actually have students write this in the back of their grammar book. That way they know exactly where it is and it's um, easily accessible when they need it later on in the year. Uh, but for now, I'm going to have you complete this worksheet and then just make sure that you store it in your grammar book at all times. So personal pronouns, um, they have three characteristics. So the first characteristic of personal pronouns is that they have person. Um, and you know that from reading literature and um, very often when um, you discuss a work of literature, one of the first things that um, is talked about is uh, the perspective or the point of view that the literature takes. And it's either written in first person point of view or third person point of view. And you know which point of view it's written in by the pronouns that are used. First person point of view uses pronouns like I, me, we, us. Um, etc. And third person point of view uses pronouns like he, she, they, them, him, her, etc. Um, very, very rarely is literature written in second person and quite frankly it is never written in second person when you are a high school student. Um, so when you're writing um, you will always use either first or third person pronouns. Okay, the second um, characteristic of personal pronouns is that they have number. And in English, when we refer to number, what we mean is either one or more than one. Or in other words, they can either be singular or they can be plural. And then the third characteristic of personal pronouns is that they have case. There are three different cases of personal pronouns. I have no idea why they're called case, um, but anyway, suffice it to say that the one case is the subjective case pronouns, and um, subjective case will be used when the pronoun is the subject of the sentence. Makes sense, right? Um, the second case is the objective case pronoun, and I'm sure that you can take a wild guess, and you can tell me that objective case pronouns are um, pronouns that are used when they are an object in the sentence, and that can be either a direct object, an indirect object, or an object of the preposition. And then the last case of pronouns are possessive case pronouns, and possessive case pronouns are used to show ownership. And so what I'm going to have you do right now is we are just going to complete this worksheet together um, and then I will let you know how you will be responsible for this information going forward. So we're going to start with subjective case pronouns. And so the first person singular subjective case pronoun is I. Right? I went to the store. Second person singular subjective case pronoun is you. And third person singular subjective case pronoun is he, if the subject is a boy, she, if the subject is a girl, or it, if the subject is um, neutral. Now we go over to the plural side. And so first person plural subjective case is we. Second person plural subjective case is you. And third person, plural, subjective case is they. Um, you will have to have these memorized. They are not interchangeable. And so it would be um, very common for me to ask on a quiz or a test to name the seven subjective case pronouns. And you would just have to know I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. OK, objective case pronoun. First person singular is me. Second person singular objective case is, you're going to notice a pattern here, I hope, you. Third person singular objective case pronouns are him, if it is a boy, her, if it is a girl, or it. First person plural objective case is us. Second person plural objective case is, take a wild guess, you. 
And third person plural objective case is them. Now, if you will notice something here, you will notice that for some reason, objective case pronouns seem to like the letter M. You have me, you have him, and you have them. And so I use that as a memory device to help me discern between subjective and objective case pronouns. And so if I just remember that objective case pronouns um, use a lot of M's, then I know that they would start with me, you, him, her, it, us, you, and them. Okay, possessive case. First person singular, my. Second person singular, okay, it's not quite you, but it's really, really close. It's your. Third person singular uh, possessive case is his, if we're referring to a boy, her, if we're referring to a girl, or its. Notice, no apostrophe. IT apostrophe S stands for it is, so possessive case, no apostrophe, just ITS. Okay, first person plural possessive case is our. Second person plural subjective case is your. Third person plural subjective case is there. T H E I R. And there is your pronoun matrix. Um, what you're going to have to know soon is you're going to have to know. Um, in detail this matrix. So for example, if I were to ask you what is the third person plural objective case pronoun, you would have to tell me immediately it is them. Um, if I were to ask you what is first person plural possessive case pronoun, you would have to tell me immediately it is our um, so it's not enough just to kind of have this matrix written down. You are eventually going to have to have this all memorized in excruciating detail. And so it would be best just to kind of start that now. But for right now, this is your personal pronoun matrix. Put it in your grammar book, refer to it often, and I will see you in class.